chosen. So this is a battle of two giants of women's foil. Rashida Shamley, the referee for the match. Uh, the attack goes to Volpe to land the first hit of this semi final. This time the attack comes from the left, but Kiefer misses. And uh, Volpe hits with the counter attack. This time, just pressing and pressing and pressing the Italian. Putting Kiefer under pressure early doors. Yeah, picks up the blade this time. Kiefer tried to land a very quick remise. But the right of way was with the Italian. And for the first time, Kiefer does land the attack. I'm glad Kazbak, the uh, coach in the box for Kiefer. But Volpi is playing a canny game here. She's pressed Kiefer back at the beginning, and Kiefer just gave up ground. She got a couple of hits. And then in the middle, she's not allowing Kiefer to change her tactics onto the attack. She does get that one, the American. Got the back of the head of Stefano Cerioni in the uh, camp for Alicia Volpi. Two coaches very vocal in this match. There is Cerioni looking on. Uh, Fencer of some note himself. Multiple, multiple world medals for the Italian coach. This one's staying in the middle now. The two fences reluctant to give up any ground. Blade was picked up by Volpi that time, but she had two bites of the cherry and still didn't land the repost. That went flat. You can see it going flat on the back, so the point doesn't dig in. And Kiefer levels things up, getting a lot more active at close distance as well, and that time, Luring Volpi into distance before flicking across to under the flank. Sneaky. Very petite Kiefer, so not much target to hit. You have to go chasing after Kiefer, that's uh, not a happy place. So Volpi having the right away. This time Kiefer jumping in to close the distance. It was her counter attack and she knew that, but look, she blocked the blade out as she went forward into that counter. Uh, you can see Cerioni drawing the box. Referee had given that as para repost. And now Volpi is uh, challenging that one. So there's the blade pickup from uh, Kiefer, but does she wait too long? Mm, I think that Volpi's got a, an argument here. To get this one, there are several movements of the blade from Kiefer after she'd established the right of way. She 
Well, nothing doing. Attack given for Volpi, and you can hear what the Italian crowd think of that. So now it's Kiefer's turn to call for the block uh, and a review of the video. She thinks that she's picked up the right away. Well, before, well, then the referees will have another look at this. They'll go back. Here we are. So the first, the first one is definitely from Kiefer, and it misses. So she starts the movement first. The first one from from the Italian misses as well. So. Kiefer's in with a shout here. She's going to get both calls going her way. Uh, he's called that the other way round. He says Volpi starts, misses her first one, and then it's Kiefer's turn, and then Volpi steals the right away. So Volpi gets that one. Just sharper off the line that time. We're going to have the two women's semi finals done in the first three minutes. Just a bit longer than three minutes, you have to say, for the first one. So back in the defensive posture. She misses the first repost for me. Right of way goes to uh, Volpi. That's what the referee is given as a remise off target. And we have yet another video review called by Lee Kiefer. There's the block. Wow. There's, yeah, there is the miss from uh, Kiefer with her first one. She takes two shots at this one, misses with the first. Certainly, that's how I read the uh, replay. But it's not down to me. It's down to Rashid Al-Shamli. <laughs> Remains as off-target, no-hit given. I believe Kufa may well be out of... Uh, Video appeals now as well as a counter action comes in. Definitely a counter action from Volpi. A watch for the body movement as well. She must make sure that she doesn't duck her head down and obstruct her target, the Italian. There was a chance there for Elite Kiefer in the middle of that action to put in the faint disengage, but she pulled out of it. There, she just pulled out of it, or did Volpi pick it up? Uh, they're both pressing the accelerator now. One minute left to go. Surely this one is going to be done in the first three. That's still the attack. But it misses with the first one. And Volpi given the hit. Now, she hasn't got any videos left. The referee's actually called that another parry. So a lot of circular ceased happening from uh, Alicia Volpi. One point in it. One minute left in the first period. Look how close they are. Blocked out by Volpi, still has the right of way. Kiefer tries to dive in on the counter and just comes up off target. The Olympic champion being given a real fight, but that's surely what everyone expected. And she was facing an Italian on home soil, especially one of the pedigree of Alicia Volpi. Stop hit, lands, because the attack fails. Been a couple of unforced errors from both athletes, but really not very much. They're both fencing so well that they're forcing most of the errors. Ali. 
Ah, tak, nowa lawa. On got the bread. Aj. Aj. There's more to come in this one for sure. 34 seconds left on the clock. The trading blows right at the business end of this semi-final. Is that blocked out again by Avlicia Volpi? It is. And 13 apiece, you can't ask for more. This is entirely what we expected. A real ding-dong battle. Counter riposte again, that circular cease working. Lovely bit of second intention, you have to say, is from Volpi throwing in a fake attack and then blocking out the para riposte. Kiefer on the attack, blocked out by Volpi twice, but Kiefer gets out of the way this time. And it's another para riposte from Alicia Volpi of Italy. On home soil, the Italians have made the top two here in Milan. Alicia Volpe having to battle her way through against the Olympic champion and world number one. Somehow in Italy, the foil fencers find their way through. They find their way to a new level. And Alicia Volpe has taken this second women's semi-final and she will face Ariana Erigo here in Milan for the women's foil world title of 2023. Well, support all round. You can hear the reaction in the crowd as Volpi made it through, having to come from behind. Look, you can see the effort, but you can also see the delight. And she gets a hug from none other. Is that Elisa Di Francesco? Was that? Yeah, I think that was Elisa Di Francesco who was in the crowd there, former teammate. As we take a look back, it was the Perry Riposte actually that came through for uh, Volpi in the end, but most of them were circular cease parries. Most of them were blocks out to the right hand side as she's facing her opponent. In the end, the last one was a four, a cart across the body. And Cirioni is delighted with that. His work is done. He has the gold and silver medalist, whatever happens in the final when Volpi will face teammate. Ariana Erego. So confirmation there that Alicia Volpi has taken semi-final and number